Hello amigos, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. I am Laura Tejana Army Wife here in the great state of Texas. It's a pleasure having you here and joining me today for my latest video where I am going to be sharing a wonderful new Chanel accessory that I added into my collection and a nice little beauty item that I also picked up while I was there in the Chanel Beauty Boutique. So let's get into today's video. It is like spring here in Texas. It's been feeling nice and warm. We are in like spring break fever already. And today my husband and I, we had to go out and do a little unexpected excursion as he normally calls it when we're out and about on the weekends. And it's just a beautiful, wonderful, like spring day here. And so I wore the pink. And I've got on my wonderful little pink um, hat that I picked up at Flea Style in the stockyards out in Fort Worth. And, and I have my little Chanel like bandeau here. I'm just decked out all in pink with my pink jean jacket, my Migo Londrina Mexican dress. I had my pink Chanel Duville tote. I had my Chanel beautiful little spring summer sandals. And it was just a beautiful nice warm day outside so I am just ready for the spring I'm ready for the summer so just a little bit of story time to let you know what's been going on I am in a no buy Lenten season and I mentioned this on the video that I was recording last night because I'm wanting to share my handbags that I have in my collection from my luxury designers because I never got to share that last year and I wanted to do that during this Lenten season because during the Lenten season, within these 40 days and 40 nights, I do my very, very best, amigos. I try my very, very best to refrain from retail shopping. I just shop for the necessities, okay? The only thing I've been purchasing is items for my rental house because we are remodeling that and it's almost done. So I've only been buying items for that. And so this morning I'm in bed, I'm editing my video that I recorded last night. When I get a message pop up on my phone from my wonderful SA at my local jeweler saying, your wish list item has arrived. I had a wish list of four watches and one of them I received last year, which I've shared here and I will link that video below. And I actually had two other watches that I was considering and these were the ones I really, really um, had in mind for my milestone birthday year. And I had taken a year to finally decide which model I wanted and there were two different versions and she said this version came in and I was actually almost about to tell her no when my husband said we need to go see it. Let's just go so you can um, see it in person. And I'm very glad that we did because it blew out of the water the other one that I really thought that I wanted. And once we saw it in person, my husband said, that's it. That's the one that um, you need. That's the one you need to take home. And I had made already a purchase of a handbag with part of my annual bonus and I had already set aside a large amount as well because in case I got an offer for a watch or possibly maybe a quota bag, I had funds for it. Mm -hmm. Today I was a bad girl because I broke that rule today, amigos. I could not pass this up and I'm very fortunate that this item came in before my milestone birthday. So yeah, I left with that item and I can't even give you a sneak peek of it because my husband said, wrap it up. He said, wrap it up. That's her 50th birthday gift. Um, I'm just so happy because this item I really, really wanted um, for my birthday because a bag, eh, que le hace? that can always come at a later time, but not this. And I knew that the one I wanted would most likely be discontinued. So stay tuned because if you love watches, if you love luxury handbags, if you like finding 
steals and deals like I do because I'm a professed shopaholic. I love to share those deals with you that I do find on luxury or just other items in general with my like-minded friends here within this community. So please consider subscribing to the channel because I love to pass those savings on as well as military discounts. And click on that bell notification so it'll alert you when I do upload my latest video. But I just can't wait. These next three months are not going to go fast enough because I can't wait to reveal that item with you guys and be able to wear it. So let's get into today's video and why y'all are here is because of the fact that I'm going to be revealing this wonderful, lovely Chanel accessory and the new little Chanel beauty item into why you guys are here. I purchased this item prior to the Lenten season beginning and this particular item I went in a few weeks ago into the um, they opened up a brand new Chanel like beauty boutique here and they're actually carrying like the fragrances and some accessories. On our trip last year to Cancun and Tulum they had a nice huge mall and in there they actually had some Chanel accessories and I fell in love with a pair of sunglasses there and I just did not want to pay the amount of money that they were selling them for because they were I think like $1,600. So I was in the market for a pair of polarized sunglasses because that's what the pair in Mexico were. I reached out to my one of the associates that I work with at Nordstrom's and they had this particular one in the store and so she went ahead and she shipped them to me and they came in this little case. They came in this nice case. Now it's not like a leather case. It actually is like a fabric material. If you can see that with the really pretty little gold CCs here. And you have the nice quilting on the back and on the front and you have the Chanel logo. And the ones that come in here are this nice black pair. And you're gonna see the ring light in here. So I'm so sorry. But it's this beautiful black pair that actually has this pearl detail on the sides see that and you have the really really pretty little cc's on the side here and i these were the ones that i was in the market for and so when i received them look at that these are the chanel square sunglasses with the pearl detail on the side and they are polarized and you can tell that they are polarized because it will say that up at the very very top try not to get the ring light for you guys so i apologize but it'll say polarized up in this top corner and what attracted me to these was the fact that it had the pearl detail and my local my local nordstrom's here did not have this particular style polarized so this style does come regular and it also, um, you also have to then track it down if you're interested in the polarized version in different stores because not all have them. And I actually went into my name and Marcus here and they didn't have them as well. And so the essay that I work with, she actually happened to then um, have these for polarized and she mailed them to me. And I'll insert a picture for um, this particular style online. And I just thought that these were really, really pretty. Now the difference between the polarized sunglasses and your regular version of sunglasses is of course that the polarized is supposed to then help you pretty much kind of like reduce the glare like when you're outside, especially if you're gonna be out there for like a long time, um, exposed to a lot of sun. And that's what the difference is between the polarized sunglasses and the regular, because of course you're gonna get that um, UVA, UVB protection. And what was interesting is um, when I purchased these, usually when you go to like Sunglass Hut, they'll have where they sell like maybe like Oakley's or the Maui Gyms. And so of course those are known to have the polarized lenses and they'll actually have and even actually even Ray-Ban too because they actually had two of those um, like little signs that actually have the image to where when you actually put the sunglasses on, you'll see how it makes the colors brighter. And I actually popped into the store because it was next to the new Chanel Beauty Boutique 
at my um, local mall and I actually put these on to see if I could see that vividness, that brightness in that sign that they keep there in the store and they, it sure did. It You could see that it would just accentuate the color like really nice as if you were to have like a pair of Maui Jims or your um, Oakleys. And so I thought, okay, well at least I know the polarization is actually working on these because when I would go outside, I really couldn't like tell too much when I would like look up like in the sun. And so I thought, okay, well, these are really, really pretty, but I wanted to see what else was like available because I still wasn't sold on them. For me, I just felt like they looked a little, I just felt like they looked a little bit too big for my face, not oversized, but I just felt, I think because the black looked a bit harsh for me. So before I put these back in the case, I want you to see the inside. See how you can see how it has like this little insert here. It's got a little division for the nose piece of the sunglasses. So it'll fit in there nicely when you set it, when you set them in. So it actually has like that little groove for when you um, slide your sunglasses back in there. So these again came in this material like cloth um, quilted type of a case. And I went into Nordstrom's. Again, they had this style, at my local one, without the polarized. I was trying on the different styles there. None of them really caught my eye. None of the other designer styles that they had caught my eye. So I went into the Chanel Beauty Boutique and I ended up finding a pair there. So let's reveal this other pair that I purchased. Here's the receipt. And they come in this box she put the pretty little camellia on the bag and let's unbox her all right and this comes in a nice like leather case and oh this actually comes with a nice little um, cleaning cloth. Look at that, it says Chanel on there. So this is nice. The one from Nordstrom's didn't come with this. So this, she provided a little lens cleaning cloth in here and then there's also a little booklet. So this one also did not come in the Nordstrom one. So I guess it's just like a little care booklet. So these two little items came in the box with the sunglasses from the actual Chanel um, Beauty Boutique. So these were not included in the one from Nordstrom's. Okay, so that's already a bonus. Hmm. Mira nomás. Okay, look at this case. And what it, I love these new cases from Chanel because the other cases, of course, they were like that hard, hard, kind of a bulky case, but you have the beautiful um, quilting on the back and then on the side and you have just the discreet embossing of Chanel here on the front and I remember when I saw that pair of sunglasses in um, in Cancun they were a polarized version and they had that beautiful like chain that quilted chain and I remember the gentleman there he was like ay mira la puedes usar como bolsa and so he was strapping the chain on to the actual sunglass case and he was carrying it like a bag and I thought, oh my gosh, that's actually a really good idea because you could have multi-purpose use for this because you could always use it as like a little, you know, maybe you could carry your cards in here or what have you, but he was having fun, um, you know, putting it around his waist and showing me how to other, you know, to carry that particular um, style um, sunglasses with that actual chain and making many different uses out of it by playing with it with this actual sunglass holder, so that was actually really really cute and so i enjoyed the new version of the glass of the um of the cases for the sunglasses now here you can see again the inside and it's a nice like a velvet ooh, very nice like a velvet um lining que bonito that was not on the other pouch so to reveal these beautiful rectangle sunglasses Try not to get the ringlet in here. And check out the beautiful little detail of the CCs with the crystals 
and then the very nice larger gold cc's here and i okay look at this hope it is picking it up correctly from what you can see the actual true color of these and i will insert a picture of how it looks um, on the outside because i was actually not able to see it when you're actually in the store once you put this lens right underneath the light or outside in direct sunlight because that's how we were having to look at it when she was showing me these sunglasses because she pulled all the ones that she had that were polarized and then we were pulling any we were pulling all the other styles that I liked and this actually comes in like a red frame it comes and I think they call it green and of course black and then they have a brown and this particular version what sold me on it was when I actually popped it under their light by their sink because it was nice and bright. It was not a typical brown. And it's this one is actually called iridescent brown. So it actually has like an iridescence of green sometimes. So it actually has like what my husband will call an, OD, an ODB green. See, I don't know if you can see that I can see it and it just looks awesome when you have it outside in the sun or when you have it under light so let's pop these on and i actually like these because they were actually smaller they i felt like they just went well more with my hair color and my skin color and you have the beautiful um double cc's on the side really really pretty All right, and i'll pop in a photo of this particular style so that you can see the um like the style number and i'll provide the one that is on the receipt because i tried looking online for this particular color because the young lady there the sales associate she actually saw it and she actually gave me the name of it because she could see it on her side that this was called iridescent um, brown and when I tried looking at it earlier on the website, I couldn't find it. But this style is there, but the other color variations are available online. But this is a non-polarized version. This version, this style of sunglass does come in a polarized style, but I believe it's on like the regular brown, um, maybe black, but this, there are some styles of this particular model that come with the um, polarized lens now when they're a polarized lens they are going to be a little bit more i think you can see a little bit of that iridescent it's just a beautiful like a a brown like a bronze with gold flecks but then in the light it'll actually look like a shade of a beautiful like an olive green it's really really Pretty. and I do not have anything like that and I already owned a pair of brown um, Chanel sunglasses and I always end up going for like tortoise or brown and I just thought this was a nice unique color that you would not normally see just by looking at it you would think that it's brown but when you go out into um, when you're in direct light or you're in the sun you will see that the beautiful iridescence and then like that bronze with the gold flecks that looks a little bit of green and I just thought this one was pretty having a nice brown like a gradient lens but that your frame was actually more of a beautiful different color different than my traditional tortoise or like a brown color or black that I would have and I just thought that it just blended well again with the hair color and the skin tone and my skin tone color so I just thought that these were fun they're not overly big or anything like that and they fit well even with me wearing this wide brim hat and it's not to where they're going to be very very oversized to where if I did wear a hat where it would just kind of be like hitting up at the top so I think this is a really good size me personally for my um, face shape but I just thought that these were really, really pretty and I just love the different color. You do have a gradient lens and this one, when I wore it outside, it did not, um, either way, I honestly could not really tell too much of a difference between this non-polarized version versus the polarized version. When I would look out and look up directly into the sun, I really didn't see too much of the polarized one um 
softening like the glare like it still looked bright i mean both of them are very very nice but um they're of course more pricier when you are paying for the polarized version but i just love the color combination and this one and i just thought it just made it all the more nicer more unique and different they actually fit very comfortable and again i love the fact that it comes in this beautiful new case with the quilted and this one also if you can see here see how you have that little piece there in the center that actually is going to be the spot where it'll hold the like the nose piece and it just fits absolutely absolutely perfect in there this particular style if you're interested in it these were um 505 i will put the style number and everything down below in case you like this color combo and you want to reach out to one of your local essays to see if they have this particular co um, color option and the actual um, frame of the sunglass so I'll put that down below I think they're both great um, to me I just didn't notice that bit of a difference the color still looked nice it just made it a little bit cloudy like a cloudy um, kind of a look when I would wear it but I honestly for me it didn't see a big 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 difference if you're going out and you're looking and you're staring out at the sun to where you would really like right off the bat see that it really softened that um, bright, bright, bright glare. I only really saw the difference when I was actually looking at that frame where it pops out the bright, bright colors um, for like that on um, that Maui Jim sign uh, or that Ray, uh, Ray Ban sign. That's the only time I really noticed the vibrance in the colors. But as again, like I said, as far as it really toning down a lot of that bright glare, um, I just thought it really didn't make that big of a difference um for me to warrant paying 130 dollars more so that's why i ended up just opting to choose this particular design and i'm going to return the other ones with the pearls but i wanted to share them with you so you could see the difference and just in case you were in the market for um, considering sunglasses that had the polarized lens on them um you know in my opinion that's just the experience that i had in trying on both of these and looking at them in the sun directly. So hopefully that will help you if you have been in the market for this version because they're pricey. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit more insight to help you weigh your decision in which pair would be the ones that will best suit your needs. And let's go ahead and get into another little item that I purchased while I was there. That little item comes in this bag and she didn't have the, um, Chanel beauty brush that I was looking for. Everybody seems to be out of it. I purchased the uh, makeup from Chanel that was like the little bees, the little in that little little tube. And I got that when we were on vacation. Um, since I got it duty free while we were out in the islands, and everybody's out of the brush. So she gave me some micro serum and micro cream samples. So those are in here, and I actually got a new little. So you wrapped it in there. So I actually got a new um, eyeshadow, and this is the Ombre Premier um, Lack in Vastness. This is 32 Vastness. And I like a lot of like mauve -y, um, like mauve purpley um, tones, I guess. I have a Marc Jacobs one that was a powder and then they ended up making it a liquid and I ran out of the liquid because it was so much nicer that I didn't have all that fallout. You had to be a little bit more careful when you were applying that Marc Jacobs one. And when she had, when I saw this one in store, I said, you know what, that actually looks really, really pretty. And I like the um, look that it gave. See that? So you have like a little bit of like a sheen, not too iridescent -y but it's just a beautiful um, taupey mauve color, I guess would be the best way to describe it with just a little bit of a hint of the, um, like a purple, but not too, too, too much. So that's actually a very nice color. So I like to wear that usually like every day, something simple, something quick and fast that I can put on um, for the days that I go, go into the office and put a little bit of makeup on. I thought this was just a really, really pretty color nice and like neutral for me and just really really nice so so figured i would try this one out to see how i like it because i had run out of the other one and i liked the way it looked there when i was testing it on my hand but then i actually tested it a little bit on my eyes but 
I love these, I love these type of colors and it's just nice and quick application that I can just put it on and get ready to go and be out the door. I hope this video helped you in case you are in the market in purchasing some wonderful Chanel sunglasses. If you've been considering a, a polarized version or a non-polarized version, I hope the feedback and insight that I was able to provide helped you in making your decision, but highly recommend, of course, that you go to your nearest store if possible to try them on. Amigos, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure having you spend a few minutes of your day with me. I hope to see you back here soon because I would love to share with you the handbag collections that I have for the other luxury designers such as Hermes, such as Chanel and Dior and other brands that I actually do have in my collection. So stay tuned for those videos, be on the lookout for them and don't forget to hit that bell so it'll alert you when I do upload those videos. To all our veterans and all our military men and women serving and defending our country around the world, I thank you so much for your service and thank you for my freedom. Hasta la próxima. Until next time, amigos. Bye-bye.